Here we're looking at Ohio Buckeye. It's also in the Sapindaceae family, in the genus Ascalus, and the specific epithet is glabra. So Ascalus glabra is Ohio Buckeye. Let's take a closer look at its identifying characteristics. Looking at the bark, you can see it's an ashen gray color, and it's starting to break into these scaly plates. It starts out as smooth, and then breaks into these plates when it gets older. It's also got a little bit of a cork to the bark, so you can sort of squish your fingernail in, and uh, it should give a little, so a little bit spongy to the touch. This is the fruit of Ohio Buckeye. It's this softer outer shell. Sometimes it'll have these little spines. They're fairly sharp, and you can just start to see a suture or a split where this husk would come apart. If you open the seed or break it apart, you can see that it's got a pretty good size space for a seed to come out. That's this here, and this one is still developing. Normally it would be all this brown color and only a little bit of white. So these hard seeds would be the buck eye. The twigs are fairly stout, and you can see that they are oppositely arranged. Leaves and buds are oppositely arranged on a twig. This is the terminal bud. It's a fairly good size bud, and it's a brown color with imbricate overlapping uh, scales. It comes to a point, but it's a little bit conical. This one people mistake for horse chestnut frequently. The difference is that in Ohio Buckeye, the bud is always dry, and in horse chestnut it would be sticky or tacky. This is a palmately compound leaf, so here we have the petiole that attaches, and then right here at the center is where all the leaflets come out, so palmately, think of palm of your hand. So it's a pretty good size, somewhere between probably five and seven leaflets would be attached. The Ohio Buckeye here is the tree in the middle, and it's not particularly shade tolerant, which is why it looks a little sparse here. This can be a medium to larger tree with a rounded crown. And in the spring is when you would see the flowers, which are fairly large grouping of flowers, a sort of light green in color.